What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to round off where we left off, this annoying Spanish stack that's marauded its way through the Parisian countryside is now about to be destroyed by Elias Fielding. This is particularly relevant as we have been declared on by the French, so all of these armies are now realistic problems, including this guy who could potentially be on his way to Turin or Northern Italy. But without further ado, let us attack this army in the docks. What my strategy is going to be with this army, it is tempting to sail them around to lay siege to Lisbon, potentially knocking out the Spanish in a very short order. Um, actually that's probably quite good to potentially be swamped by Westphalian forces. Brilliant hill. Terrible artillery position. So let's drop our howitzers up here. And then our artillery can take a bit more of a flanking position. So let's cover cover the hill. I mean I can't. Okay, there we go. So we've only got one unit of marines covering the flank of this artillery piece. But this is why they shall be joined with the light horse and a light guard, and potentially the dragoons as well. It's my cavalry squadron on the flank, and we've got some heavy cavalry on the others. Let's have a, let's have a look at them, actually. The lifeguards. Yeah, they, they look okay, I guess. Uh, general, take position behind the howitzers. I uh, have not placed one set of guns. What about perched atop this smaller ridge? <laughs> I mean, that's not going to work because they're going to kill their own horse teams. So let's do that. Cavalry up on the flank. Let's take these four units and ideally move them up to about here through the town. Uh, not you. These two take up positions here, this side of the buildings. These marines flank around the outside of the town just to provide that extra bit of threat. I mean, all this cavalry on the flank is a big deterrent. Got some dragoons. Got my hussars. And my heavy cav. As well as artillery blowing the hell out of them. You'll rue the day you ever stepped off of those boats, children. Commit the Dragoons to go hit the Bandoleros because they are completely isolated. Shouldn't need more than a unit of Dragoons to deal with them. There any light infantry? And they're, com they're completely unsupported. Okay, infantry run in position because they're in. They're starting to run in too. charge in. Where's my lifeguards? Get my lifeguards out on the flank. I don't want them to charge the pikemen. Especially as the pikemen do an excellent job of getting shot to bits. I charged all my cavalry in just to overrun 
bandoleros. Good. Shattered. Let's then line them up again. Pikemen have fallen back. is about to be engaged by my unit of... Ooh! Pikeman charging. You guys better reload. Pretty ricky tick. And they have. Second rank. Fire! Send in my lifeguards to massacre these pikes. Bring our spread our cavalry out to be ready to engage the leakers. Well, in fact, you charge them, you charge them. So the pike these pikes are formed. See, that some of them are de were determined to charge, even though I ordered them not to. Let's change my house's priorities. Go to this unit of pikes, definitely. Good stuff, these units are getting bloodied but experienced. Let's get all the houses to focus fire that unit of pikes. shattered but I would very much like them to be gone. These guys shouldn't last very long. There's not that many left of them. Same with my dragoons over there. Let's keep my lifeguards free to charge the light the line infantry that's coming in. Open fire with some volleys. Full artillery, stop firing. Howitzers can engage. Good stuff. So it's a speed up time. Because right now, the only thing to do is to target my cavalry and my general. Let's get my general into the mix and let's turn off artillery fire. Ooh, chase down the unit of pikemen. So right I'm just looking at all my cavalry icons just to make sure they're all busy. Occasionally have to bounce back around them just to make sure they are actually doing what you want them to do. Okay, come on. Let's bring my lifeguard over here to do some more killing. Ah, they're going to route. They've already routed. Well everyone against this unit of infantry then. The poor old 35th. Very unlucky. Absolutely slaughtered. Damn right it was a heroic victory. These marauding skirt. So that's them destroyed. March. 
So you can fix the port. The army can repair or replenish. Let's bring back the squadron that was here. Or well, if anything, let's send the sloop on a scouting mission to Lisbon. What is there? Chips Nothing. Order. Perfect target. So much so, and our army is in sufficiently good condition. Mark. Let us embark the fleet. Sail them to Porto. To the port. Send the army south towards Lisbon. Let's move my sloop back up to Brest. Well, I think Span Spain's days are numbered. Because this is all they've got left. Madrid's under siege. Morocco is about to be under siege. Orders, your Majesty. Lisbon's about to be under siege. They've got a couple of stacks that could be frustrating. But once we've locked down this area, because there is a couple more here as well. And once we've locked down this area, that this will be very, very, very valuable for us. Uh, Good, because once we've taken this region, A, I'll deploy the armies back into Europe, then I'll also be able to blockade Poland. I'll be able to have a fleet stationed in the Strait here and have a fleet stationed in the Adriatic to make sure they can't get out. Good stuff. I don't think I'm going to attack this, f this unit here. So to get my... Yeah, so, oh, see, they've already dropped an army Disengage. off. Ah, oh, see, and they are pushing down towards... Oh, no. Oh, they've done it again. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to send my, my navy, which should be fixed from Columbia East, and I'm more than happy to have them, those French units, running around raiding. Ah, oh, they did manage to drop them off. Thought I'd managed to get away with it. So where is this navy going to go? I don't like that one bit. Oh, I'd like to hope they're going for they're going for the Cherokee. Very dumb. So they get two. Well, I was about to say they get. That's fine because I've got sufficient production. We won't have to divert. I was about to say two two continent war. It's not going to be a war with Russia, in which case then it'll be. A hmm. <laughs> yeah, for this, I mean, it already is pretty strong. Um, but I could do. I mean, that is generally what I do. Like I don't operate with much of a war reserve, um, because I'm usually earning enough money. I don't. I I know I'm going to get money next turn, so I don't know much. Um, I think I might move the army that's in Philadelphia. Oh, no. Florida. Remember, or my causes these slowdowns. And it's not my new PC. Get an RTX 3080 when it drops. Probably an R7. Today 700X. Could get an R9, but I'd be honest, I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make for me. Not yet been developed. So, all right, the Russians have Georgia. So they are probably going to land to hit St. Augustine. Well, at least we have you, Harry Barry. Let's move you here, ready. Okay, so they're raiding around the farms, which I'm happy with. I could just straight up engage them right now. What navy does this look like? Lots of chaff. I mean... Okay, what does the navy over here look like? Better. War galleon second, four, first, fifth, fifth, four, first, heavy, first, fifth. 
Mine is, I mean, mine is better. So you've blockaded the fleet, the sent another army to another chaff militia army. So let's recruit another sloop and then just sell you <laughs> into the port. Just to block them in. Sir. Let's bring them back Orders. to Caracas. Get them replenished. A raid Leon. Let's try and assassinate Robespierre. Bang! Nope. I mean, I think I have to declare on Russia. Or not on Russia, Poland. I mean, I think I have to. Fight these fleets. And hope to try and sink both of their armies. Because that's two stacks. I can, I could almost, I could be fairly confident to take out at least one of them. Yeah. If I build up the fleet even more, I think I've got to do it. Set up everything else. So put you siege Lisbon, siege Tangier. I mean, I might just auto that because that's not a fight. Where's your school? I don't have one. You just really hate me. Fair enough. Church school. You've got a shipyard. Let's get a trading port. Let's get some clearances. Let's get a craft workshop. And let's start to fix your buildings. But I would like to knock them down and rebuild some western ones. I mean, you're about to grow massively. Or do I just put a straight up happiness building here? No, oh, yeah, but that religious unrest is huge. The resistance to foreign occupation will go down. Religious unrest is bad. But then again, happy. Then again, I won't get the benefits of this until two turns. Not this. And then it will be slow. Whereas if I get this. In two turns, they'll be down to four. Then they'll be down to two because of the church. Hopefully these will have kicked in. Venice recruitment. Northwest Atlantic. Good, so they can meet up there. Okay, I could be about to make a really, really big mistake. But then again, the poles... They're back to more manageable numbers here in Europe. Like it's only a few big stacks. I'm not worried about a few big stacks. If I don't, if I don't attack them, they will become loose. That's the problem. Declare war. Call my allies. Call the banners. So they. This is it. We're against everyone now. The Russians are going to come after you in Zagreb. We're going to need to meet these guys on the battlefield and push them out. Well, at least we're fairly quickly going to be able to annihilate the, f the Spanish. Although you're on the move. Yes, my lord. To be honest, I might just auto-resolve Lisbon, because look at that. That's not a Settlement under sea. proper fight. Sound the call to battle. Ah, yes, you are more manageable because you've got a university. What a school. School and exempt you from tax. Rebuild the government building and the opera house first. Should make you pretty okay. So, in the first battle, in a, actually, before I do that, let's bring. I mean, bring my fifth rate up to there.
combine the fleets. And they'll be, because I'll have to attack them as well. But first, the first battle in a long time. Let's go after the heavy fleet first. Call them in as a reinforcement. Let's do this! God, I, I suck at naval battles so much, even though I've got such overwhelming... Well, you know what? I can't go... I can't go too badly wrong, not with the size of my fleet. Okay, let's put... My heavies, firsts, seconds, admiral, third, third, third. Too bad about the weather gauge, it's a bit funky. So then, let's scoot you over to here. At least they're going to be... Well, they're not sailing into the weather gauge, but they're going to be in an awkward position. So let's speed up time. Because as is tradition with navy battles... So they've got... So if we can at least destroy... Well, this one's not the tricky one. It's the other one that's the tricky one. The other battle, I should say, not fleet. So I got a feeling they're going to try cut across me. They're going to sail them into like here, and then just mess up my formation. No, ch nothing funny, nothing fancy. It'd be nice if we could just mask their first rates, but you know what? I think I've just got to try, I've just got to beat them. Sometimes my insistence to try and get chain shots off are more detrimental than anything. Let's get ready to open up on the brig. Poor little fella. They are losing slightly. Let's try to get your broadside ready for the rosé. Are they going to come in front of me? Yeah, they are. Of course. As is tradition. That's what the AI does. They love it. Kablamo! Although weirdly I think firing firing regularly might be the better option. Okay, I have to do some manual control. See look, they're not actually trying to kill me. They're just being annoying. <laughs> That's what the eye does. Just ignore. Ignore the annoyance. Sail the fleet on. What are you doing, man? Go. So this is what gets me, is they sail the fleet, so the naval fleets can just be so clunky, and I hate them. I mean, take it. Take you out of the group, sail the group on. Nope, missed shot. Sail on. Oh. 
just immediately pivot. Because look, oh, I hate naval battles so much. Okay, everyone just abandon the formation and just move. Get sailing, because right now you're going to do no good at all here. I want this guy to fire some chain shot because he's got such a good shot. Well, he will have such a good shot. Turn off that. Broadside's ready. Well, ready ish. Side ready. Cabot. Okay. Increase the sail. Full sail. It's a terrible, it's a terrible, terrible formation because there can be lots of overlap, but to be honest, I need to do something because this is. I'm about to get raked by this guy. Or even do I sell them over like this? Good. Sa sail to get ahead of her. We've took out two of the masts. Oh, just, just take her if you're gonna. If you're gonna. Like, one rosé is enough just to screw up the entire formation. So I want to get him in between the ships. I mean, the majority of these guys aren't even going to get in the fight, so they may as well do something like this. Let's go firing chain. Good. Keep sailing. Let's speed up time. You're on fire. Turn off fire will. Turn on fire will. <laughs> Classic. God, I suck at naval battles so much. Is wavering. Pivot these ships around. So we're going to take this rosé, which is going to be nice. I mean, that ship blew up. Ha <laughs> ha! Now yours! Ha! <laughs> oh, how'd you like some of that? All of you, where are they? Yeah, you're all in good nick. Do you know Why are you all sailing at half sail? So we lost our ship, but I don't care. Pivot this ship to fire into the stern of Scorpion. Let's 
Come here, you. You all are half. Okay, good. Got head on. She's at full sail. You drop anchor so you can get around Dryad. Four sails down. Four mast. Ooh, enemy admiral's been killed. Not sure where that came from, to be honest. These three ships will be enough to take out Scorpion. Thunder is on fire, so let's make a fire at will. We'll turn off fire at will. Apparently the score is if they've got fire at will on, they will ign not ignore the fire, but they will less efficiently... Uh, they will less efficiently stop it. Okay, you three can sail down this side of the f of the fleet. Good. After that annoying little scuffle at the start. I mean, are they doing it too? Sailing at half mast. Yeah, go on, drop another mast down. You dummies. This poor little privateer is going to get what have I done? Shouldn't have done anything. This poor little privateer is going to get just shot to bits. I mean, I laugh that he's routing, but I need him to. I need to destroy it. That's what needs to happen. And this is... Look at this for a beautiful formation. <laughs> Jesus Christ. These guys aren't so bad. You might just... I might just pivot them around immediately just to start getting some... shots into the head of the column. Ready to engage. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. There we go. Shots away. Similarly by Thunderer. Firewall now on again. How many guns have you lost? Everyone, is Everyone who can engage is engaging. Sell you, just sell you down the slot. Just sail straight ahead. Good. Surrendered. Mm. 
Oh, broadside's almost ready. Oh yes, yeah, sail on. Sail head on. It's going to be two for the price of one. One mast down. Drop anchor and just keep shooting round shot from there. Another mast down on Delphin. This is where the main effort is, so... So this routing. Oh, all the shot, all the, all the rounds were at the back and missed. Don't get me wrong, I don't dislike naval battles because I think the mechanics are bad. Um, I dislike them because I'm bad at them. And so... And the... Oh, there's lots of friendly fire. Nice one, Goliath. I think Delphin's going to surrender. Try to take it for a chance to... to flee. You. you go after the sixth rate, you go after the fifth. You just take Delphine. Surrendered. Okay. Everyone, all of you, against that sixth rate. The entire fleet. Everyone get that sixth rate. Good. See, even when it's overwhelming odds like this, it's a really messy battle when I'm in charge of the Navy. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't close, but it was dumb. That's what it was. Oh well, these things happen. Can't be good at everything. Uh, what ships have we got? Ooh, I'll take your first rates, thank you very much. What did you- no! I just captured you all! I mean, that's not annoying at all! Okay. So just how damaged are they all? Well, let's see how they fare against two second rates. I could be sending two second rates to their deaths, but got to give it a go. Yeah, we did, sadly. We didn't die, but just go back to port. <laughs> okay, that is a friendly port, at least. But yes, we cannot actually chase them down. So let's go let's knock out this annoying little Spanish galleon don't care about it. Let's repair our ships, because we can't stop them, which is a can't take them out, which is annoying because we don't have a navy up here. Not a decent one anyway. And based on my experience in that naval battle, I think I might just auto this one. Because I cannot <laughs> the AI will do a better job than I will. Oh, we lost seven ships. I'll take your second as compensation. Sail into an inlet. Yes! Oh no, not not enough. Heave away, boys! Heave away! Drop anchor! 
So set them out here. Have they got any movement points at all? Not really. So they drop an art. If they drop their army off, then at least Nullcroft will be ready to engage. Okay, let's hit end turn and see how much damage that's done. Anything else? <laughs> oh, come on. <gasps> Triple bridge battle. Triple bridge battle. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for a bridge battle. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching.